not just any guest, it's the legendary world champion Vishwanathan Anand coming in second place. Vishy, you hadn't played in 16 months. You said, you know, you're trying to get back into the swing of things. Second place, five wins in a row? How did you do it? It just happened. I mean, uh, <laughs> it, I, was, I felt I was playing well in the rapid, but um, uh, obviously Anish, uh, I mean, I'd come close to saving it, and then there was the uh, other loss. But um, in the blitz, I was apprehensive, because when you've been away for a long time, you don't know how you'll play. But uh, it went fabulously. Yesterday, already I was pleased with the plus two. And today it came, I started off brilliantly. I should have beaten both uh, Anish and uh, Duda. Completely winning positions, and I uh, drew both. Mm -hmm. And then you always, you know, they say, if you don't score, someone, your opponent will. So I was kind of nervous, but this four wins in a row, look, I'm happier than anyone else, I can tell you. Right, four <laughs> wins, that I stand corrected. Yeah. yeah, I remember those two wins you, you could have had in the first two games. That would have just catapulted you, but still, the result is amazing. You hadn't played chess in all this time. You hadn't been on a plane in all this time. What makes it come back, you think, to, the, to those fingertips? It's a bit random. I mean, uh, a thing here, a thing there, and uh, the tournament can be different. But um, uh, sometimes you just have the feeling that uh, the wind is in your back. And I won some very nice games in the Blitz. I mean, my French with Korobov in the Blitz was uh, very nice yesterday. Today was much choppier. Uh, but still, uh, I played well, but I cannot explain why. Your colleague, uh, the, your big rival from back in the day, Gary Kasparov, did not perform well. Your thoughts about that? Yeah, he, um, he really seemed to struggle. Uh, what, was, what struck me was, I can't tell the difference between the, what, 12 or 13 years he was away when he played St. Louis, and the 16 uh, odd years uh, after this tournament, but um, the gap was so big. In St. Louis, he seemed like a chess player. I mean, he seemed like a top chess player. He knew his openings, he knew everything, and he was playing fast. Um, of course, some drama happened, but uh, thing. But here, he, he just seemed out of it completely. And uh, it was very surprising in the opening ceremony to hear him say that, um, Yeah, trying to lower everyone's expectations. And I thought, is that the Gary I, we used to know? Uh, and maybe that was a kind of uh, warning sign, but uh, I mean, it's clear this is not, uh, uh, this is not the Gary we recognize, but uh, that was a tough thing. And one thing I'll give him credit for, he didn't back down on the last day. He just kept going and going. So that, that's still, he's got that. What events do you have coming up that your fans can look forward to? Well, in a couple of days, I'll play uh, No Castling Chess with Gladdy in Dortmund. Um, and after that, I'm going to do some commentary in the World Cup. Um, so bits and pieces. But uh, I think this result gives me a lot of motivation to uh, work again. You know, I really, uh, sometimes, you know, a good result just uh, lifts you. And uh, hopefully, I'll be ready when some tournament comes up now. Well, you know, everybody says you should just retire because you can't compete with these guys, but I think they're wrong. <laughs> Congratulations on a fantastic result. Thanks, Maurice. The great Vishwanathan Anand. Maxime, you had some difficult events so far on the tour. How does this one make up for those first two? Uh, it was very important for me just to play well and to get back this sensation of uh, winning. So, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted simply. This is great preparation as well. You're going to the World Cup. Are you feeling great about your chances? Um, well, I have uh, optimism on my side always, so I always feel good about my chances, even when I'm not playing well. So here um, I'm definitely feeling good, but uh, it's going to be a, an extremely tough event. Uh, I, know, I know this from experience. What was the difference maker for you here in this, in this tournament? You were always close. You seem to make a real surge when it came to the blitz. But what was the difference between you, you think, and the rest of the field? I think defense. Yeah, defense is essential, especially in blitz. And I lost uh, only one game. I should have lost probably four or five. But uh, uh, you know, defensive skills uh, let me escape with only one loss. Well, congratulations once again.